Good morning everyone and welcome to Royan Study Corner. My name is Royan and the aim of this channel really is to try and make learning as fun, as easy and as accessible as possible. Now this is the first video in a series called Physics for CSEC or Physics for CXC where we'll be covering everything from your first physics class all the way until your exams. And this is sort of an orientation to get you familiar with what you can expect over the next two years. So, you have gotten into physics and you're really happy because you wanted to do sciences. But you're also a little bit afraid because you've heard things about physics being difficult or physics being sort of scary and hard to understand. And gradually you're feeling yourself leaning to that side of agreeing that physics is hard. You've now started and you already feel like you are behind. So what do you do now? Well, we are all budding scientists here. So we have to think of this in a smart, systematic way. So let's think large scale. First, we will think about what are the things we're going to learn, how are we going to be tested, and what is different for this year, as in 2021. So, what are we going to learn? The physics syllabus is separated into five sections. Mechanics, thermal physics and kinetic theory, waves and optics, electricity and magnetism and the physics of the atom so let's take each of them and break them down to figure out what each topic really is about mechanics when you hear the word mechanics what comes to mind maybe mechanic and if you think about mecha a mechanic then you probably think about cars speed velocity acceleration distance forces, energy, that sort of thing. And that's what this section is about. Our next section is thermal physics and kinetic theory. Now, let's take this literally again. Thermal refers to heat and kinetic refers to movement. So we're going to be looking at temperature and how that affects movement of particles and how they behave. That doesn't sound so bad now, does it? Our third section is waves and optics. So again, we're going to take this literally. Waves. We're going to be looking at waves and how they behave. Now, if you're not familiar with the word optics, that's okay. Optics refers to sight. That is how we see. So we're going to be looking at waves and light and how they behave and how that affects how we see. Now, our fourth section is electricity and magnetism. Now, what do you think we're going to be looking at in this section? Of course, you guessed it. Electricity and magnets. And now we're on to our fifth section of the syllabus. The fifth section is physics of the atom. Now I know this may seem a bit strange because when we hear the word atom we usually think about chemistry and we're sort of like what does the atom have to do with physics? But in this section we're going to be looking at parts of the atom and things about the atom that sort of ties into what we as budding physicists and scientists have to know. So those are five sections. Now we're going on to how will we be tested. Now, the testing aspect has two separate sections. One is your continuous assessment and the other is your exam at the end of Form 5. Your continuous assessment or your SBA, which stands for the school-based assessment, is what we usually call labs. And what labs is, it's essentially experiments that you do in class that are led or rather guided by your teacher and you do the experiments you write up your scientific report because we are budding scientists you write up your report and then your teacher 
creates it. We do these labs through all of Form 4 and Form 5, and then the average of some of these labs is what will be taken for your mark, for your SBA. Now, at the end of Form 5, you have your exam. Your exam consists of two papers, paper one and paper two. Paper one is a multiple choice paper. You have 60 multiple choice questions to do. Paper two is your structured paper. This is where you have the lines to write and it's a little bit longer and requires a bit more thought. And that's it. So two papers and your labs that you'll be doing through all of Form 4 and Form 5. Now finally, how will it be different this year? Now, usually exams are in May, June, and this year, however, they will be in June, July. And usually results are released in mid-August, and this year they're going to be released at the end of September. Now, the last difference this year, mainly, that will really be affecting us is the way that or some information that we will get about paper two so cxc has said that because of loss of learning time what they're going to do is five weeks before our structured paper or paper two they are going to release their broad topics that will be coming for the exam now what does this mean we do not know exactly but what we are interpreting this as is a sort of hint, you know, when your teacher is like, okay, I'll tell you what topics are coming. It's sort of like that. But the difference is they're waiting for five weeks before paper two. Not paper one, but paper two. Would I advise that you wait for when they release these five topics? Definitely not. I would say Go about preparing as usual and then the five weeks before when they give you those broad topics then you really zone in and try and focus on those topics and that's it so we've covered what we're going to learn how we're going to be tested and what will be different this year and that's it thank you all for watching I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe so that you can get all of the other videos and follow along to help you all out. You know, use it with your work that you're doing in class so that hopefully you get a better understanding of what you're really learning throughout the entire syllabus. So guys, until next time, remember to be safe and be kind to yourselves.